One. There you go. Thanks a lot. Thomas, you made it. I did. I love you every day. <laughs> I just want everybody, I'm trying to be extra nice. <laughs> Sir, let's get up. Well, how about just don't, just be nice. I'll take it. That's pretty girl. Cool. Cool. Getting a little bit. Hi. Hi, what is it? Uh, today represent, nice to meet you sir, thank you for your time. Uh, today is uh, nine years since the first enemy combatants uh, went to Guantanamo in Cuba. And there are 170 people still being held. This is a stain on the U.S. We also want to focus attention on Private Bradley Manning, who's being held in torture-like conditions. So, you know, we're advocating for the Department of Justice to take some of their budget to close Guantanamo. It's a stain on the soul of this nation. Yes, I see is. you're religious. Why? Is that a religious? Uh, it's like a dove for peace. It's just a oh, peace a dove. Dove. Oh, it's a peace dove, that's right. Yeah, that's I mean, dove. I think I lead a very, you know, uh, spiritual, neighborly, you know, good neighborly type of life. So. Okay. What are you doing today? We're NASCAR. We're re in a recovery center for mentally ill adults. That is oh, awesome. Hey, I totally support more funding for public health Absolutely. and mental health care and access and human needs. Certainly a redirection of uh, foreign policy and resources that are going to create much more suffering than they are to helping our human issues right now. And so I always, I'm, I'm also advocating for restoring transplant funding. Well, uh, yes. It's $1.4 million, that's a drop in the bucket. Uh, let's stop giving enormous corporate tax breaks for you know, multinational corporations that need to pay their civic responsibility in, in the means of uh, stipulations in contracting and changing the tax code. Hi ma'am, today today is nine years, thank you for looking, today is nine years that uh, the first enemy combatants were taken to Guantanamo in Cuba. And I support closing Guantanamo. Yeah, I do thank too, you. and can I just say what we're advocating, and thank you for that thank boost you. of support. Uh, we're advocating for the Department of Justice to allocate money. If Congress is in such good luck to not, you know, take away this horrible stain on the nation and on our soul, that the Department of Justice takes billions to whatever it takes. Uh, there are countries. Hi. All right. Civic duty. Sorry. Yay for kids. The future. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got distracted, but... Um, you know, take their money and make this right. It, it's about healing for us and correcting the horrible mistakes of the last administration. Torture is not bad law, it's a crime. We punish people in World War II. I would not want my friends or family in the field, in the theater, thinking they're doing for our country and being tortured because we're doing that. Thank you for listening. My name is Liz. Today, you know, represents nine years of Guantanamo, and we're calling on the Justice Department to close it. Why are you so disgusted? Why? Why? So, so you can visit it? <laughs> I love this guy. Asking the Department of Justice if the Congress cannot fund this. The Department of Justice has rules to simply fund the closure of Guantanamo. Nine years, there are 170 people there. For release and will be indefinitely detained. So we're saying, you know, we're representing also we have a, a young man that is being held for eight months in, in torture like conditions. Thanks for listening. His name is Private Bradley Manning. Courage to resist.org. Check it out. Yeah, please. Thanks for being here. Smile. Give free hugs out. We need a lot of love here. My name is Liz uh, with CodePink.org. It's a peace group. Here we are January 11th, 2011. Today is a very important date. On 2011, uh, in, 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 nine years ago, the first enemy combatants in President George Bush's global war on terror were brought to the U.S. naval base Guantanamo in Cuba. And 
In the intervening years, we've learned of horrific torture, abuse. We've also learned that many of the men are innocent of any crime. The U.S. states that many were sold to the U.S. officials for bounties of 2,000 and up. On January 2009, President Barack Obama, in one of his first acts in office, signed an order shutting down Guantanamo and ending torture policies. But as the second year since, here we are, and the promises have approached and gone by, and as many as 170 remain at Guantanamo in Cuba, condemned to indefinite detention without charge or trial. In Washington, D.C., Berkeley, Miami, Phoenix, Arizona, and various other cities around the country today, we are having this national solidarity action to call attention uh, to closing Guantanamo, to asking the Department of Justice to allocate the funds necessary to release the prisoners that were uh, not, never charged and have been cleared for release. And we also want to bring attention to uh, truth tellers and supporting uh, people that are telling the truth, if in the case Private Bradley Manning is uh, the uh, uh, leaker, the alleged leaker uh, with WikiLeaks, he should be supported as a war resistor and uh, we want to bring attention to his conditions that he is at Quantico, Virginia in torture-like conditions. We are asking uh, to end the inhumane, great, degrading conditions of pre-trial confinement and respect Bradley Manning's human rights. Specifically, lift the POI, the Prevention of Injury Watch Order. And we're asking for an end to the special treatment. So we want that POI lifted and uh, justice should be prevailed. And we need accountability. We need accountability. Torture is not bad law, it is a crime. Thank you. Phoenix, Arizona, CodePink.org. Great. So Liz, tell us a little bit about your organization, Code Pink. So Code Pink is a, a peace group. Uh, we have been vigiling for nine years against torture, against keeping uh, private detention, black sites open, extraordinary rendition, and these type of policies. So this is another horrible day. That It's another year that's gone by and Code Pink women and men around the country are vigiling at the White House, a huge action. And uh, we do many other things. We travel to war zones, we uh, promote women uh, with micro loans to help them through fair trade uh, exchanges, etc. Okay, and then so specifically, isn't it women women against war, or what's the what's their tagline? Code pink, women for peace. Women for peace. Excuse me. Yes. And uh, you know there are men certainly where we have people all over the world that support us, encourage us, and uh, we are very vibrant in Arizona. In fact, Code Pink uh, Tucson is doing a major press conference right now uh, regarding this uh, terrible Tucson uh, tra tragedy. Okay, and what's POI? POI is the uh, Prevention of Injury Watch o Order that the military has on Private Bradley Manning at Quantico, Virginia. This means he cannot exercise. This means he gets a special treatment, which, why? He's not even charged. And he hasn't been charged for... Not that I know of. Bradley Manning is uncharged and being held for over eight months. He turned 23 in Quantico, Virginia in solitary confinement. And is he allowed to speak with an attorney, or does he have an attorney, or does? Or what do you know about this? I don't know much. Okay. I mean, there was a recent article, and that's about it. And what's his website for Bradley Manning? Courage to Resist .org is what I would reference. Uh, these are the people that are taking letters and correspondence for Bradley Manning. Also, you know, we have a legal defense, or you know, they have a legal defense set up uh, for war resistors and for uh, Bradley Manning specifically. Okay, and uh, what do you what 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 did Bradley Manning do for those people who are not aware of Brad, Bradley Manning? Bradley Manning supposedly is uh, considered, uh, from what I read, the Wiki leak er that showed uh, that sent out a video, which I did see the video of the U.S. shooting down innocent people in uh, Baghdad, and uh, then when. Uh, 
you know, aid workers and people tried to help them. The, the, our soldiers shot the people trying to help them. And we saw that all on video. So we don't know it's alleged, and the fact of the matter is we have due process here, we have justice, uh, and, uh, well, I'm, I'm hoping uh, justice by the way of us standing up all over the country today for Bradley Manning for the truth, for the closure of Guantanamo, the stopping and ending of torture policies. We need spiritual healing. This nation, it's a stain on our soul. So we are asking the president to tell the Department of Justice, uh, work with them and get some funding to close it if, you, if Congress is just going to use this as a political tool. I thought it was. I thought one of the first things he did was close uh, he, closed it. That was one of the first things he did. That was one of his promises. Uh, did he do it? I thought he did. Actually did it. I'm correct. In his first act, he did sign an order shutting down Guantanamo and ending torture policies. And what the Americans need to know, they need to wake up. And democracy is not a spectator sport. You know, Congress is co-equal. So you have to work with Congress. And if John McCain and John uh, uh, Kyle, our senators, want to use this as, as many issues, as a political tool for ideological and uh, zealot means and purposes, this is a national security risk. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, look, these people, we're, our, it shows our Justice Department is not working. And this is supposed to be the beacon. So we want to support our politicians into the position of understanding what we do. Torture is a crime. We need to close Guantanamo. And the Department of Justice has the authority, and they have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And so what, what are you hoping, what is your, what are you wanting to do? Have people join your organization? Or, I mean, uh, what are you looking for other than exposure here? That's a great question. I would say please, everyone, go to CourageToResist.org. Look at the website. Write a letter to Bradley Manning. I wrote to uh, the Secretary of the Army, McHugh. He's from New York. I remember being in D.C. and he was in Congress. And he was, uh, you know, a part of the veterans uh, committee or something. And, uh, you know, I wrote a long personal letter, you know. And the more that we stand up and write, the military will not be able uh, to uh, uh, let justice go, and they will have to provide due process. Did you get a response back from no, our, I just, our, our, any, of our rep, any of our representative government officials? Not yet, but I'm hopeful, and uh, uh, I, no, I haven't. Okay, so what does that show you about our representative government? <laughs> They're not too representative. Right, and you know, I sometimes get disappointed and don't want to really write, but in this case of war resistors and the courage it takes, if he did something like this, I appreciate the truth. We need the truth. We need an informed uh, uh, citizenry for democracy, for real democracy. We need an informed citizenry. We need transparency and accountability. And I would go back to the former administration. You know, the last eight years of, uh, of the last administration in that eight years, these policies emanated. So if you end the wars, this torture, these black sites, this extraordinary rendition, these horrible policies that stain our soul cannot continue. So in our opinion, the number one thing is end these wars.